We're here at the press conference in Beijing, and in my hand is, ta-da, the newly announced OnePlus 6 flagship phone. So the OnePlus 6 comes in mirror black, which is shiny, midnight black, which is like a matte black, and also silk white. I know, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is that there is a iPhone X-like notch, like literally every other phone out there. But there are still a lot of merits. For example, it has an extra large screen and also a very impressive screen to body ratio. So its screen size is about uh, 6.28 inches in comparison to iPhone's 5.8 and their previous 5T versions, 6.01. And there is a bit of a bezel at the bottom, as you can see, but it's a really thin one. So it actually puts its screen to body ratio at a whopping 84% in comparison to iPhone's 82.9 and Samsung Galaxy's 83.5. Although it is a bit wider because the screen is bigger, but it is only wider than the iPhone by less than five millimeter. So it's still quite comfortable to hold and very elegant, um, even for people with small hands like mine. And it's got a really nice curved back, extra smooth. It has a AMOLED display with a 19 to nine aspect ratio and the standard 1080p resolution. There are three ways to unlock this. The first is of course the face unlock, similar to Apple's Face ID. The second is the rare fingerprint unlock. And the third is the good old password unlock. Also at the back, you see the rear cameras in a vertical alignment. The main camera is 16 megapixels equipped with optical as well as electronic image stabilization. And the secondary camera is 20 megapixels. So this phone shoots in 4K at 60 frames per second and also takes photos in RAW. Not bad for a cell phone photography, eh? So at the bottom here is a Type-C port, which does what OnePlus calls dash charge, which apparently gives you a whole day's power in just 30 minutes. And also you can see the audio jack. Good thinking, OnePlus. Other specs to know are that they use the Snapdragon 845, just like in Samsung Galaxy S9 and also the Xiaomi Mix 2S. The phone also uses Adreno 630 for its GPU, which provides a great gaming experience, up to eight gigabytes for RAM and 256 gigabytes for storage, dual SIM card slots, and it runs on Oxygen OS, which is based on Android 8.1. And there's also a better version for the newly released Android P. How much does this phone cost, you ask? Well, the starting price is 529 and the highest configuration of 8GB plus 256GB costs around 629 off price in USD, which makes it the most expensive OnePlus phone yet. But there is a one more phone that is a bit pricier, the Avengers Limited Edition. You can see there is a special design at the back. Pattern's a bit different, and there's also a logo here. The Avengers logo. And also the button on the side. It's gold. So this phone costs around 4199 but not in USD. So that's the price in China, and it roughly translates to around 660 USD. But we're not sure on the official price, and we'll update you and let you know. So the newly released OnePlus 6 has some other really cool features too, like reading mode, gaming mode, etc. But we saved it all in another video in our channel that's going to be releasing soon. So you better subscribe, and then you can find out whether this new phone really delivers the speed you need. Again, this is Carol from Pan Daily, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time.